Hi, this is Arindam from the Informatica MDM support team and today I am going to discuss about EJB based composite service calls in MDM. So basically I am going to demonstrate how to make EJB based composite services call in MDM using sample code. So I will be showing you uh, how to create a record in MDM using a EJB based composite service call. So before I begin with the demo I would like to show you the the composite object configuration as well as composite services configuration XMLs uh, that I would be using and also the ORS specific XSDs or the XSDs that I would be using uh, to create my code. So uh, this is the composite object configuration that I will be using. So I have IDD application with uh, person subject area and the telephone numbers is the child subject area and you can see that person is, is a parent subject area so it's this uh, composite object root so in, in my demo I will be creating uh, a record for the for the person subject area or for or a party record with a uh, subtype person so this is how the composite service uh, configuration XML looks like so I will be using this write person service which is created by default when I save the IDD application you can see this write person uh, service uses uh, this write CO service which in turn uses the write CO step uh, internal step and creates uh, the MDM uh, or, the, or the record within the MDM database and uh, some of the parameters that I need to pass for write person uh, are uh, the system name which is a mandatory one and effective period and interaction ID are, uh, are not mandatory parameters so I will now show you the XSDs uh, that I am using. So uh, let me just show you the right person. Uh, so uh, right person is uh, uh, is the service request that I am ma making. So it's available as a complex type within this XSD. So basically, it has a couple of elements. One is the right person parameters. So uh, right person parameters. Uh, are the parameters that I'm passing while creating the record like the system name and the effective period and the interaction ID and it has also uh, write person also has an element called person so this person is complex type is again defined in the composite object uh, XSD so uh, I'll just go down so you can see this person complex type so uh, it has this person dot root complex type which is basically nothing but the, the root complete object uh, definition and it contains all the elements that are part of uh, this person uh, subject area so that is all about the XSD so let me just uh, go to the sample code so this is my uh, sample code so uh, uh, you would have to include the common JSDO and the Eclipse link uh, jars because it will allow you to do all these composite object related operations. Let me just uh, briefly go to the code. The first step would be to get this composite service client which is similar uh, uh, to, the, to the SIF client that we have and for getting an EJB based client you need to pass all these EJB based parameters that you pass for a SIF client. The next step is to get a call context uh, which is this call context is always specific to a ORS so you need to pass this ORS ID here so I'm passing uh, this MDM sample ORS ID here. So this helper context uh, is a uh, is an important interface that we use uh, for SDOs so this helper context returns um, basically it returns a number of helper classes uh, for SDOs which uh, actually operate uh, within the same SDO context or they have the visibility to the same SDO metadata so I'm using a couple of helper classes here one is this uh, uh, data factory uh, and other one is this uh, uh, data factory is uh, uh, actually written by this get, a data, get data factory method of the helper context and the second one is this get type helper which returns a specific type from the XSD that I have defined. So let me just go back to, uh, to this uh, data factory so I'm uh, so using this helper context I get the data factory object so this uh, mm, and using this uh, uh, get uh, type helper I, I would need to pass uh, the URI uh, of of the XSD along with the right person uh, complex type 
to get the right person type over here and the next step is to create a uh, create person data object where I need to uh, use the data factory dot create method and I need to pass the specific type name so I need to pass the right person type here to get an object of right person type once I get uh, this create person data object and I need to get uh, the create person parameters data object also needs to be created because uh, here I am sending all the right person parameters within it so I am passing the system name which is admin over here so once these parameters are set uh, I will basically create uh, this person root data object which is the basic uh, composite object root and I need to set all the field values over there so I create this person root object as a uh, using the create uh, data object and pass this person a complex type under it and uh, I, I need to set the first name and the last name over here so one important uh, thing to note here is all these things are done under the person dot get change summary dot begin login and end login envelope so we need to do uh, need to always include these changes uh, inside the change summary because this is how our MDM product will recognize the changes that I'm making and will do the corresponding uh, changes uh, in the database so that is uh, that is how we set all these parameters and finally I need to execute my complete service call so where I again need to pass this call context as well as the create person data object so what I've also done is uh, I, I'm printing uh, the, the data object tree uh, using this dump method using this uh, get xml helper class which is uh, which is also a part of this uh, helper context so it will print you the whole uh, data object tree in an XML format so that it's a bit easier for you to understand how it looks like when I execute uh, this code so I'm just executing uh, the sample code here and uh, let us check the results over here so let me just copy this uh, the results So you can see that I've sent this person request where if uh, this is the uh, my right person uh, data object and it has this person uh, data object under it which has the first name and the last name set and we have this change summary and you also have these parameters or the right person parameters where I'm just passing the system name called admin. So this is uh, once I execute my uh, composite service request it will return uh, this right person return service data object which has the row ID and the source key of the record so that is how you basically create a, a record using this composite service uh, EJB call so basically the, that is it from uh, for my side uh, for more details uh, on composite services you can refer to the composite services guide for the specific MDM version so we would love to hear from you on this particular video so if you have any feedback you can email uh, us at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thanks a lot.